Why? I have to be boring and say four. Because Sandy Dennis on it. Battle of Evermore, I mean, you, that song you can, you know. I got shivers just now saying that title. Wow. Amazing. Going to California. Stairway, of course, it's on there. I'm not like a massive fan of uh, When the Levee Breaks. It's a great song. It's got harmonica in it. No, thanks. Yeah, no, it's, it's famous for its drum sound. Uh, and yeah, it's great drum sound. But it's difficult. It's almost a tie. But Sandy Denny tips it over in four's favor. Sandy Denny, it's amazing. I remember I read in a, a magazine, one of the UK, like classic rock or whatever. No, it was like they, they broke down every year of rock music and had special editions, 1970, 1971. So, um, and there was a uh, uh, section where Jimmy Page was reviewing this week's singles. And uh, Fairport Convention had put out a record called League and Leaf. I don't know how, how you pronounce it, Le Le League and Leaf. Uh, that came out in 69 or 70 maybe. And he reviewed this and it was the first time he heard Sandra Dennis. He was like, she's got a beautiful voice. I never heard of this band before. One year later, she's on a Led Zeppelin record. And she tragically died. She fell down a flight of stairs and she was... She had problems with uh, alcohol and drugs and she, she, she died. Which is one of those tragic deaths and that's never really brought up. Like, it's almost like she's forgotten for the, for the majority of the people. But for the ones who know about Sandra Denny, I have never experienced you bring up that name, I'm talking more about Sandra Denny now than Led Zeppelin, but you bring up the name Sandra Denny and people who know her well up almost. That's how that, she had that impact. I don't need